I know I just got a haircut, but with this weather, I just have to put my hair up. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Radha if you're new here and in today's video, I will be styling my mom's clothes. I would say my mom has a very unique style, sometimes too unique that I won't even borrow her clothes. I love you mom, but yeah, we have pretty different styles, actually very different styles. I would just say that borrowing my mom's clothes is just not a norm here. I mean, I don't know if your mom's like this, but I feel like most mom, at least my mom, she still has her clothes since like she was in college or something. The closet is basically a time capsule of her life. I mean, I can literally find and spot pieces and shirts and all that that she wore when I was like tiny. So honestly, I will have to find at least one piece that I actually like and will wear it. I'm just kidding. My mom, my mom's style is actually very cool. She makes and match a lot of patterns and she likes colors. But honestly, some of her pieces are questionable to me. But I try my best to make it work. I'm hopeful that I'll find some vintage pieces and gems in her closet. And I mean, I feel like she has so much clothing. But it's only a right of me if I find something nice. I would just have to make use of it and just wear it myself so this is another way to expand your wardrobe just go raid your mom's or your dad's closet don't tell your parents i told you this but just go to the closet and take some pieces i'm telling you i'm pretty sure that you find something that you like so yeah let's go look through the closet and fingers crossed i can find something that i would wear myself let's jump right in Okay, okay, so I just went through my mom's closet and to my surprise, I found so many pieces. Like this is not even half of it, but I guess I'll just have to try it out and see which pieces I actually end up styling. Yeah, I found like shirts, cardigans, there's a lot of like pattern stuff, colorful shirts as well, and like of course, silk scarves and bags. Like look at this guys, this is probably gonna take me a while, but yeah, let's go style these pieces. Okay, so we are starting off our mom lookbook with this adorable velvet pastel lilac color tee. I styled it with this cargo style dark green mini mini skirt and an oversized denim jacket from Princess Polly. Although the chance of me wearing this outfit out and about in Bangkok is actually very slim, I thought this would make a great transitional outfit in the springtime. And of course, I can't forget this vintage shoulder bag. Then I decided to switch it out for this denim overall from a brand called Esprit. I'm pretty sure it's my aunt's or something, but oh well. I love, love wearing overalls. I think they're just so comfy and fun. It's giving me like a cute farmer girl vibe. Imagine wearing this with like a high top top converse or something. This top is from a vintage brand called Stefano Illy, but alas, I decided to whip out my disposable camera and sunglasses to give the outfit a little more pizzazz, you know? Now a more formal outfit, I got this black bodycon skirt a while back, but yeah, another easy fit. Next, we have this stunning silk floral vest. I mean, are we all seeing this? Like, look at the colors and the patterns. It's screaming vintage but also retro. It took me a while to figure out, but I settled with a basic white tee and the same skirt from before. I I actually thrifted the skirt and if you can't already tell, it's actually too big for me. So I rolled up the waist and hopefully I can get them fitted soon. You guys are not ready for this next piece. Like how even? The lace work on this cardigan is so intricate. It's also white and cropped. What else can you really ask for? And surprise surprise, I just threw this on top of the previous outfit and it works great. I switched out the bag for this orange strap one and I love the color contrast. And yes, you already know it, it's my mom's. Guys, my mom has so many midi skirts and this lookbook won't be complete without them. This is the first one that caught my eye. Normally, this is not the color palette that I would gravitate towards, but I had to channel my inner mom energy somehow because of the bold clementine orange color. I toned down the outfit with the more neutral top from before. I love it. It's just so fun and it gives any outfit that pop of color. Now, introducing the vintage midi skirt. It's from this Claiborne, very classy, and I love how versatile these skirts are. I switched the top for this white knitted tank from a local Thai designer and paired it with the same bag. I feel so put together and guys, this with an oversized sweater or crew neck immaculate okay on to my favorite it's in this charcoal gray color and basically ties at the front just like this although it's unbranded the fabric feels like a mix between silk and velvet so it definitely adds on that layer of sophistication overall very flattering on i then decided this was a little too formal and switched the top for this black baby tee from tommy hilfiger which i thrifted and finally i threw on this purse it brings your whole 
outfit together. I have to admit my mom's selection of clothes really exceeded my expectations. These camel cargo says it all. I was a little gutted when the waist didn't fit me, but actually I think I like the baggy look even more. I stuck with the same top and paired it with this tiny shoulder bag. Needless to say, this piece is definitely going to be staying with me. It's from the brand Clock House. Now, switching the baby tee for this oversized top from Noah. I'm positive it's my brother's, but he gave it to me, so it's all good. I completed the look with this beautiful denim bag that I found sitting in my mom's closet. Another casual fit. I'm literally obsessed with this bag. The stitching, the wash, the shape of it, and I love the length of the strap as well and the red accent. Ugh, I can go on and on. This bag is a definite keeper. The raw and rustic texture of the fabric gives it more character. It's also very easy to match. As you can see right now, I have on a mini skirt and this brown halter top and literally I can just walk out the door. Next up, we have what I call the real mom jeans. It is extremely baggy but very comfortable on. I just styled it with this flower tank and decided to put on this brown office style blazer. I'm pretty sure it used to be my mom's staple work outfit so I thought I should give it a go. I would have to say it's not one of my favorite finds. I'm not crazy about the length nor the cutting. Usually I prefer a more oversized fit but sometimes you've got to work with what you have so hopefully I can restyle the blazer and make it work in the future. Back to the jeans, I love the wash of it. It's the perfect shade of blue so again, thank you mom. Anyway, this jeans is originally from Marks and Spencer and it has a dark blue embroidery on the back which I thought was a very unique touch. Then I threw on this oversized denim shirt that I found on top of a black velvet tank that you would have seen before if you watched my last thrift haul. I'll leave the link down below guys that thrift haul was exquisite, trust me. And I guess I'm going for that denim on denim look, you know what I'm saying? I paired it with this vintage shoulder bag which I thought was a great finishing touch to the outfit. I think the orange breaks up the blues very nicely and I love the look of the different textures. Now I wanted to change it up a little so I threw on this little sundress from Urban. It goes to show that these oversized denim shirts are surely a wardrobe essential. You can style them so many ways. Personally, I like my denim a little more worn in and faded so I'm telling you, your nearest thrift store is probably your safest bet. Or actually, my bad, go check out your parents wardrobe first, you'd be surprised. Now I got myself a mini leather bag. Isn't this such a cute summery spring outfit? Like I can so imagine myself wearing this to parks, strolling around the city and whatnot, you know. If it gets hot, I can just take off the shirt and maybe tie it around the waist. That would be cute too. And for the shoes, depending on what I'm feeling that day, I can go for maybe like kitten heels or actually my trusty white Reeboks would work great. Okay, okay, I promise this is the last outfit with this shirt. I feel like a girl boss wearing this. I just love the fitting of this shirt. Like it looks great as a top but also as a layering piece. So yeah, I just styled it with this bodycon black skirt and I love it. I think in general since the shirt is already oversized, I like to go for something a little more form fitting on the bottom so I won't look like a ball of fluff, you know. By the way, I'm just wearing my everyday gold jewelry, so pro huggies, my chain necklace and if you know me, I need my rings so I have a few of my current favorites on. I just got this silver one and I am obsessed. And yep, I think I'm just wearing my rose gold Daniel Wellington watch here. We are nearing our final stretch of this lookbook so let's finish it off with dresses shall we? This first one here has three quarter sleeves and is the most comfortable dress to lounge around in. At first it was kind of giving me grandma vibes but no I think it eventually grew on me. I really like the hook and eye closure detailing that runs down the top. At least I think that's what they're called. I remember seeing my mom rocking this back in the day and to be honest I think it looks better on her but nonetheless it doesn't fit her anymore so I I will happily accept it. Anyhow, I played around with the dress and I think maybe if it's a tad bit shorter, it would be perfect. I unfastened a few of the closures on the top and created this kind of like off the shoulder look, which if I have to say so myself, is a genius idea. I just love the off shoulder look for the summertime. Now to the final piece, your mom's sundress. I swear, this dress must have been my mom's maternity dress or something because it was big all around. Anyway, this is the type of dress that just speaks for itself. The lace detailing throughout is just gorgeous. The shape and the cutting is just one of a kind and trust me, once I get it fitted, uh, I just can't wait to style this with a cute silk headband or something. This is a great beach outfit as well, again very flattering and classy. Something about an all white dress just hits different. I would say this dress is more feminine and girly compared to the other pieces but I'm not complaining. Changing up styles is always great, you know. It's so flowy and you can definitely wear it casually like this or even tone it up with a leather jacket or something. By the way, since these clothes are so old and my mom rarely wears them anymore. I will be the new foster mom and fingers crossed my tailor will pull through. 
Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope I inspired you guys to go reuse, recycle, and perhaps borrow a few pieces from your mom's closet. I mean, as long as you tell her, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure she'll be fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys very, very soon as always. Bye!